Here is some help for the first test at Virginia Tech. This first question says express a length of 0.545 kilometers to micrometers. So you're going to be converting. This is going to test your knowledge of both metric system units as well as dimensional analysis. When you're doing dimensional analysis, the thing that I like to do first is to look at your starting value, 0.545, and look at how many sig figs that is. Following the rules of sig figs, leading zeros never matter. And then the first thing you hit from the left is going to be significant. And if there's a decimal point, everything to the right of that is significant. All that to say, there are three sig figs. So it makes sense that all of our answer options also have three sig figs. When you're looking at scientific notation, everything before the multiplication symbol, which is like the coefficient or the mantissa, is considered significant. So that's just verifying what we already see. But in order to actually do the dimensional analysis, start with what you know. We only know one thing, 0.545 kilometers. And I usually put what I know over one, because anything over one is itself. And since this is just a single dimension, and so in terms of like single dimensional analysis, you're not doing a rate or something, we just can put it over one. Look at the units you have, kilometers, and if it's in the numerator and you want to cancel it, you put it in the denominator because we're going to go from kilometers to meters. Notice that what I just did was I put the units down first. I put the units down first to make sure that they cancel out. Kilometers was in the numerator position, and I put it in the denominator to cancel. And I'm moving toward meters because meters is the base unit, and it just makes sense to do that in this case. Then, the reason that I tell people put your units down first is so that you can explicitly see them cancel, in addition to the fact that you are now able to put the numbers in the right place. If you try writing the numbers first, it's really easy to put the 1,000 in the wrong space because we know that there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So when you're using this conversion factor, this is just a conversion factor, um, a unit and a, va a value and a unit over a value and a unit. When you're thinking about conversion factors, it helps to say it as a sentence to see if it makes sense. Is 1,000 meters equal to one kilometer? Yes, because kilo literally means thousand of, so thousand meters. Then you're going to keep moving because we don't want meters, so put meters in the denominator to cancel it out, and look at what you're asked for. You're asked for micrometers. This symbol here, micro, means a millionth. So it means a millionth of whatever is after it. A millionth is expressed as 1 times 10 to the negative 6. I tend to write scientific notation as 1e whatever the uh, exponent is, just because it's faster. And also you see that in programs and on computers and uh, calculators and stuff. So if you ever see me write one, or not one, but like any scientific notation number as something e something, the e literally just means, literally just means times 10 to the whatever. It's just a little faster, but not by much. So here, we know we're going from uh, meters to micrometers. Now there are two options here. I just said that mu means millionth, and that's true, that means micro, it's the symbol. So one meter is equal to one times 10 to the sixth micrometers. This is a really big place where people can mess up. Let's, like, let's talk about it. Think about it. Thinking about it as a sentence, a micrometer is super tiny. It's a millionth of a meter. So it makes sense that it takes one million millionths of a meter to make a, mic to make a meter. So you could write it this way. Just say it as a sentence and see if it makes sense. Are one million itty bitty little micrometers equal to a meter? Absolutely. However, it also makes sense to do it this way. Saying it as a sentence still makes sense. What if you were to put the one here? One micrometer. One micrometer is super duper tiny. Matter of fact, it is one million of a meter. So in this case, I put one times 10 to the negative six because this basically says that one micrometer is a millionth of a meter. When it comes to conversion factors, if you can if you can totally flip the top and the bottom number so long as you also flip the direction that it's going away from one. So if initially we said a million a million micrometers is a million is a meter. Here we're saying one micrometer is a millionth of a meter. They're both valid. Just got to be careful to make sure you put the right one in the right space. And that's why I say. Write your units before you write your numbers. Because a lot of the times, where you put the number can be a little bit flexible, so long as you put the right number in the right space. Something else I tell people with dimensional analysis, circle the unit when you're done, 
is simple enough when you're dealing with just like one type of unit, like these are all lengths. But if you're dealing with multiple types of units um, or in stoichiometry or something like that, it can get a little overwhelming. So circle the unit. That tells me that I reached micrometers and I'm done once you do the math.